my name is Dr. Christina Swanson. I'm a veterinarian at the College Mall Veterinary Hospital, and I treat dogs and cats. As a veterinarian, on a daily basis, I see pets that are either sick or injured, and we're trying to help them back to normal. Um, we also see well animals, and we're trying to keep them well. So we'll be seeing them for routine tests to make sure that they don't have problems. There's a whole array of different procedures that we might be doing. All right, so we're going to do an exam. You have to have patience because the animals don't understand why we have to look in their ears, listen to them, take blood samples, or do different things. Oh, my goodness. Oh. We'll be seeing them for routine vaccinations to make sure that they don't have problems. So you can take right here. Oh, there it is. There you go. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> um, you have to have pretty good people skills because for every animal that comes in, there's going to be an owner. Hi, Priscilla. Okay, so here we have Priscilla who we're going to examine and see if she is healthy. I usually start by listening to her heart with the stethoscope, and we just put the stethoscope right behind her elbow, and that's where we find the heart. She looks like she's a little bit nervous, and that's something we have to deal with here, is sometimes the animals aren't sure what's going to be happening, so we have to try and reassure them. And I usually start up at the head. That way I can pet her and see if we can get her to relax a little bit. But I'm going to be looking at her eyes. I'm going to be looking at her teeth. We're looking to see if she has much tartar, and she really doesn't have much. She has a little bit, but not much, so that's good. I'm also going to try and look down her throat. Yes, that's good. I'm going to use an otoscope. We use this to look in her ears, make sure that we don't see any infections or wax, or there can be ticks down in there. And her ears look really pretty clean. And then I'll feel in her abdomen make sure I don't feel anything abnormal. Sometimes we have to address whether or not a dog is overweight or too thin, but she's just right with her weight. I think she's still a little nervous, though, about things. To become a veterinarian, you do have to go to college, and so that's a lot of studying and a lot of developing good study habits and getting some courses in the sciences. There are other careers in veterinary medicine besides becoming a doctor of veterinary medicine. A vet tech is like a nurse is to a doctor, a vet tech is to a vet. I decided to become a veterinarian uh, because um, I never had a dog when I was growing up. I had a cat and horse and sometimes I think it's because I didn't have a dog that I wanted to become a vet and uh, be able to pet animals every day and work with them.